Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, and Astonishing X-Men, issue number eight. Now, this has been my favorite comic for a while. Let's see if it remains that way, because this issue, a little questionable. All right, so we see that Proteus is back, and we know that metal is the only thing that kills him, so Wolverine has, like, the grandest plan. He's like, okay, so, check it out. Me, Warren, we go, we kick these things, but we kill it. Done, right? Um... Professor X says, no, not really. Listen, Professor X, X, okay, X, the Phantom X, Professor X, X thing, the man called X. He's like, no, 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 no. Listen, it's not his fault, all right? We've got to calm this dude down. Let's see if we can do this without bloodshed. Let's see what we could do here, okay? So uh, he and Betsy get together, and they do this little joint psychic thing, and they go inside of, what, I guess X's mind? It's hard to tell. They go inside this one mental area, <laughs> and um, they see Kevin McTaggart. So, okay, wow. And he explains how he's only been in existence for approximately 10 Earth years. All right. Um, he was he was caged by his mom because she was a superpower. And it's funny because, you know, I think about kids. I think about the temper tantrums that kids have. And, you know, if you think about the temper tantrums that kids have, imagine if that were in the body of a 25-year-old kid. You know what I'm saying? 25-year-olds, in and of themselves, 18, 25-year-olds, 16-year-olds, whatever, they're already, they've already got a lot of latent aggression, you know, inside of them. You know what I'm saying? Just, like, all this energy that needs to get out. And it's not always necessarily, you know, total aggression. But, yeah, when a kid gets mad, like, it's, there's a reason why manga is such a big thing amongst teens, right? So, yeah, just all this emotion. And, you know, if, if, if their bodies as, as little, like, two to four-year-olds, whatever, even ten-year-olds, were actually, you know, physically strong, they'd be dangerous. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us would have to put down these kids for fear of our own lives. So this is a great story arc. You know, this, this is a great, um, great arc to give to Kevin McTaggart. I love it. And then captured by the Shadow King for 10,000 years in the astral plane, at least, which is longer than Professor X was, was captured for. Wow. Compelling. Like I'm drawn in. All right. I'm here. I'm done. Now, mind you, Professor X is trying to save, uh, what's his face? Uh, uh, Proteus right now. Bishop goes over, and, and Bishop, who's known for just, you know, kill first, you know what I'm saying? Don't think. Why are you going to think? No. Here, this is what's going to happen in the future. i got to go stop these things by killing it. <laughs> like, he's just such a ridiculously violent individual. And everything about him is about treachery, backstabbing, ch switching sides. You never know who you can trust when it comes to, to, to Bishop. You never know if you can trust him. So he's still, like, you know, X, he's like, you know, I forget, it's not his fault. He, he was trying to do good. You know, he's like ramping him up with energy powers, which only make him stronger instead of just leaving him weak. Duh, duh, and duh. So, like, go up and punch the dude, you know, if that's what you want to do. Like, just don't, don't give him your energy. Anyway, so back to this astral plane, mental plane kind of, planescape kind of thing. Uh, Kevin McTatter explains all this stuff, and he's like, listen, so I apologize for all the stuff that I did in the past. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't my fault. And I'm willing to let you come here and do whatever it is you gotta do, but knowing that I'm here, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna forgive me, or are you gonna attack me? So Professor X decides to go all, um, oh, for crying out loud. Oh, I know his name. The guy who, uh, oh, how do I forget his name? Quentin Quire, thank you. He pulls out these pink revolvers and, you know, telekinetic, uh, telepathic revolvers. And he's just like, no, I can't trust this guy. And he gets ready to start shooting at him. And it's like, and Kevin McTaggart's just like, yeah, I had a feeling you were going to do something like that. So he merges, like, physically, not just in this mental plane, back on the prime material plane, the earth plane. He merges X and Psylocke together. And it's just, oh my God. I was like... You ever like like see this girl and be like oh my gosh she's so hot or if you're you know you're if you're into you know guys if you're a chicken you're into guys whatever it is okay and you're just like you know see this guy he's really good and you just see him like I don't know on the toilet it's <laughs> just something you know what I'm saying and it's like okay yeah I can never get that image out of my head now done uh, ugh, you know like that's kind of what I'm looking to hear it's like oh Silox she was always so hot now yeah no <laughs> no I'm good. <laughs> Oh, so, yeah, this was a really messed up comic book because it, it makes me, like, why, I gotta figure out why now. I gotta, I gotta wait until um, another month, this is a monthly comic, I gotta wait until we find out next month, hopefully, next month we'll explain why X was willing to forgive all these other people, but he's not willing to forgive Kevin McTaggart, because that was a pretty compelling story that he gave. Anyway... For this mind-bending awesomeness, I'm going to give this comic book a B plus. This was cool. This was really cool. Like, whoa! But at the same time, like, I'm left with this conundrum right now. 
is there enough Phantom X inside of X that he's he just can't make a rational decision, that he's not treating everybody as an equal? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.